Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. The best season is getting closer and closer. I absolutely love spring. Days are getting longer, sun breaks through the clouds and everything comes back to life. New season is also a great opportunity to refresh the look of your home. You can swap your decorations for some in brighter colors and you can start bringing the nature inside. So for today's video, I've prepared three new DIY vase ideas, three completely different styles and made by using different techniques. So I hope everyone finds something in their style. And with that all being said, let's get right into the first project. This project is from category from trash to treasure. To create my first vase, I will be using this old jar. The problem with most of the jar is the ugly top for the lid. It screams jar rather than vase, but I'm going to change it by covering this part with filler. I started with big puffy knife, but it hasn't worked very well. The surface was too rough on this scraper and the filler was sticking more to it rather than to the jar. So I swap it quickly for the smaller painting knife and it worked much better. I take small amount of filler at the time and spread it around the top part of the jar. I want to cover all those lines and make this jar look more smooth and even. It was actually quite tricky to make it perfectly smooth. More I touch it and try to make perfect, then more lines I was leaving. You can always spray it with water, which makes it easy to spread the filler. I only apply it on the top part of the jar, trying to make to look it like it's a part of it. I made it as smooth as I could and left it till fully dry. And once it was dry, I took the sanding block and sand all the imperfections down. So don't worry too much if you are not able to make it super smooth with the puffy knife. As long as the thickness of the filler is kind of the same all around, you can smooth it all with sanding paper. To create the pattern on this vase, I was inspired by oriental white and blue ginger jars and vases. This design is back in trends and you can find it in many home decor stores. Of course, nothing beats the antique original pieces, but I'd rather to make it myself than paying a lot for modern versions of it. So I've started uh, with painting the whole vase in white color. And then using a mix of light blue and black paint, I started to painting my design. I know it won't even look close to the Chinese piece, but the white and blue paint and the unusual pattern brings the same vibe. Not bad for a jar which would end up in the recycling bin. Now it's time for more modern looking vase, or should I call it sculpture. I start with gathering some metal wire. It has to be quite thick, but you have to be still able to mold it. I cut the long piece of it and start folding it into vase shape. I start from the top of the vase and create one side all the way to the bottom. Then I bend the wire so it creates the base of the vase. You have to give it the right shape so the whole construction will be steady and won't fall over on the side. I turn it back and go up to meet the other end. I tape it to the table and wrap both ends together. Mm -hmm. 
And for extra detail, I'm adding a small handle on the side. Once you are happy with the shape, you can take kitchen foil and start wrapping it around the wire. I try to squeeze it to the same thickness all around. I've tried to put the clay straight onto the wire. It didn't work very well because the wire was cutting the soft clay. Putting the foil first makes the clay stick better as it has bigger area to stick to. It also saves you clay and makes the drying process much quicker. Places where the foil didn't want to stick very well, I've taped it with paper masking tape. I take a small piece of air dry clay, roll it flat and then wrap around the construction. And just part by part I cover it all with same thickness of air dry clay. To make the connection between two pieces smooth I simply press them together. Once it's all covered, I take damp sponge and smooth it all out. I make sure it stays straight and then create quite deep hole on top of it. Once it's dry, I go around with sanding paper. I painted in white and my abstract model looking vase for one flower is ready. For my last project, I will change the look of this long glass vase. I want to add some spice to it and make it more trendy. I was inspired by the popular jacket pattern. You can find a lot of it on Pinterest or stores like Anthropology or Urban Outfitters. To create the pattern, I will be using plastic canvas. I have some leftovers from my previous projects and I thought it would be great to use it up. I'm going with green and white yarn. I work with the plastic canvas I already have, so I've counted the holes and decided that each square will be 4 times 4 holes. I put the yarn through the needle, double it up and make knot at the end. I make one square at a time. I start from the back of the canvas and go 4 holes up and push the needle back. And then again from the bottom up and to the back. Once the first square is done, I'm jumping over four squares to the left and start making another square. I think this is the quickest and tidiest way of doing it. You don't have to change the yarn after each square and you don't make unnecessary knots at the back. Once the first row of the white squares are done, I took a green yarn and started to create green squares. Again, I start from the back and make four diagonal lines. Because I double my yarn up, I only have to go once through each hole. First row is done and I jump row higher. When you run out of yarn, just make the knot at the end and put the new one through the needle. 
because it's jacket design, I start second row with other color than I did on the first row. And then I push it through the same hole where the other yarn is. This way you cover all of the plastic parts and it looks more like one piece. Once it's all covered, I turn it and cut off any excess yarn. I also cut the plastic canvas a little bit lower. You can glue it to the vase if you want. I'm going to sew it together and then put it over the vase. This way you can always remove it when you want to clean the vase or change the water for your flowers. I also wrap the yarn around the top and bottom edge for better finish. Let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and if you also like having flowers as a part of your home decoration. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more projects. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you in my next video.